Ever wondered why camera lens prices vary so much? Well, you're not alone. It's a question that has puzzled many a photography enthusiast. So let's dive into this intriguing subject and try to unravel the mystery behind those price tags. You see, buying a camera lens is a bit like buying a car or a house. The price you pay depends on a variety of factors, just as you wouldn't expect a mansion with a pool to cost the same as a cozy one-bedroom apartment or a sports car to come at the same price as a family sedan. Camera lenses too, come with their own set of features, each contributing to the final cost. Firstly, the type of lens plays a significant role. Are you looking at a prime lens or a zoom lens? A telephoto lens or a wide-angle lens? Each one serves a different purpose and requires a different manufacturing process, which impacts the cost. Then, there's the manufacturing process itself. It's not just a matter of melting some glass and pouring it into a mold. Oh no, far from it. Lens manufacturing is a delicate, intricate process. It involves grinding and polishing the glass to perfection, coating it with multiple layers to reduce reflections, and assembling everything with extreme precision. It's a labor-intensive, time-consuming process, and that's reflected in the price. And let's not forget the brand. Just like with cars, some names carry more weight than others. Brands that have been around for a while and have built a reputation for quality and reliability can command a higher price for their products. It's not just about the lens itself, but also about the trust and confidence that comes with a well-known brand. So, next time you're browsing for a new lens and find yourself taken aback by the price, remember this. You're not just paying for a piece of glass. You're paying for the type of lens, the craftsmanship that goes into making it, and the brand reputation. So, it isn't just a piece of glass you're paying for, but a complex combination of factors. Just like shoes, one size doesn't fit all in the world of camera lenses. Now isn't that the truth? Think about it, just as you wouldn't wear running shoes to a formal event, you wouldn't use a macro lens to capture a sweeping landscape. Different lenses serve different purposes and their complexity often impacts the price. Let's dive into some of the common types of lenses and see how they affect your wallet. First up, we've got telephoto lenses. These bad boys are perfect for wildlife or sports photography, where you need to capture the action from a distance. They have sophisticated optics and often come with image stabilization features to counteract camera shake. The complexity of these lenses often pushes the price point higher. Next, we have wide-angle lenses. These lenses are great for capturing expansive landscapes or architectural marvels. They have a wider field of view, which means they can capture more in a single frame. Now these lenses need to maintain image quality across a wider area which requires precision engineering, hence they can also carry a heftier price tag. Then there are the macro lenses, the specialists of close-up photography. If you're into capturing the intricate details of tiny subjects these lenses are your best friends. The precision required to produce a lens that can focus at such close distances can often hike up the price. Lastly, we have prime lenses. These are the masters of one focal length. They don't zoom but they often offer superior image quality and larger apertures, making them excellent for low-light photography. Their simplicity can sometimes mean a lower cost, but the high-end models with large apertures can also come with a steeper price. So, there you have it. The type of lens, its purpose, and its complexity all play a significant role in determining its price. But no matter the cost, each lens is a tool designed to help you capture your world in the way you envision it. Remember, each lens type has its unique features that justify its price tag. Creating a camera lens isn't as simple as baking a pie. Imagine trying to chisel a sculpture out of a slab of glass, but this sculpture must be perfect down to the micrometer. That's what lens manufacturing feels like. It begins with high-quality optical glass which is like the marble to our sculptor, selected for its light transmission properties, purity, and stability. The raw glass is first melted in a furnace reaching temperatures as high as 1300 degrees Celsius. It's then carefully poured into molds to shape the rough lens elements. But of course, we're far from done. The lenses are then cooled or annealed to relieve any internal stresses. And this process can take weeks, depending on the thickness of the glass. Once cooled, each lens element undergoes a process called grinding. This is where the real precision comes in. The lens is ground against a rotating abrasive surface to achieve the exact curvature needed for the lens design. It's a process akin to a master craftsman carving a masterpiece, but on a much smaller, much more precise scale. But the lens isn't ready yet. After grinding, the lenses are polished to a smooth finish, removing any remaining imperfections. This is a painstaking process, and a single lens can take hours or even days to polish. Assembly is the final step. 
The individual lens elements are carefully aligned and mounted in a lens barrel. This requires a deft touch and an eye for detail. A tiny misalignment can lead to poor image quality, so it's crucial to get it right. Lastly, the lens is coated with a special anti-reflective material to reduce glare and enhance light transmission and voila, we have a camera lens but remember, each of these steps requires a skilled craftsman, precision machinery, and a lot of time. And that's just for a single lens. Some camera lenses have over 20 individual lens elements. So, the next time you see a pricey lens, think about the craftsmanship that went into making it. Ever noticed how a designer label can skyrocket the price of a simple t-shirt? The same principle applies to camera lenses. The power of a brand, its reputation and marketing strategies can significantly impact lens prices. Let's take a moment to appreciate the allure of established brands. Names like Canon, Nikon, and Leica aren't just random labels, they're symbols of quality, innovation, and reliability. They've been in the camera game for decades, delivering products that have stood the test of time. This proven track record allows them to command higher prices for their lenses. You're not just paying for glass and metal, you're buying peace of mind, knowing that your lens is backed by years of expertise. But the brand power doesn't stop at the reputation. These companies invest heavily in marketing their products, creating a perception of superiority and desirability around their lenses. They sponsor major events, collaborate with professional photographers, and produce glossy ads that showcase the stunning images their lenses can capture. All these efforts cost money, and guess who foots the bill? Yep, you got it, the consumer. Then there's the added value of superior customer service. If you've ever had a lens malfunction or needed technical support, you know how crucial a responsive customer service team can be. Established brands often have extensive support networks, offering everything from troubleshooting guides to repair services. This level of service is another factor that can push up the price of a lens. Of course, it's worth noting that higher price doesn't always guarantee superior quality. There are plenty of up-and-coming brands that offer great lenses at more affordable prices. It's all about finding the balance between cost and your specific photography needs. In the end, just as you might splurge on a designer t-shirt for its style and brand name, you might choose to invest in a lens from a reputable brand for its reliability, support, and the prestige that comes with it. Brand reputation, just like in fashion, can add a hefty sum to your lens price. So, why do camera lens prices vary so much? You might be pondering this question while browsing through an array of lenses online, or walking through a camera store, seeing a vast difference in price tags. But as we've journeyed through this discussion, we've uncovered the essential factors that contribute to the price of a camera lens. Firstly, we delved into the different types of lenses available in the market. From prime lenses, zoom lenses, to telephoto lenses, each lens type offers different functionalities. Prime lenses are known for their sharpness and superior image quality, while zoom lenses provide flexibility in capturing images at different focal lengths. Telephoto lenses, on the other hand, bring distant subjects closer, perfect for wildlife or sports photography. Each lens type has its unique construction and features, which greatly influence their cost. Moving on, we explored the intricate world of lens manufacturing. Crafting a lens is an art in itself. The process involves precision engineering, meticulous quality control, and often, a touch of hand craftsmanship. The materials used, the complexity of the lens design, and the time spent on its production all add up to the final price tag. Then, we discussed the power of branding. The reputation of a camera brand plays a significant role in lens pricing. Brands with a long-standing history of superior quality and innovation often command higher prices for their lenses. They have earned their stripes in the industry, and their loyal customer base is willing to pay a premium for the brand's promise of quality and reliability. So there you have it. The price of a lens is a reflection of its type, the craftsmanship that goes into its making, and the reputation of the brand behind it. The cost is not merely a number, but a testament to the lens's quality, functionality, and the brand's standing in the market. Next time you're lens shopping, remember these factors and you'll understand why some lenses command a higher price.